You know, while you can completely run your lyrics on stage wirelessly uh, from an iPad, um, you know, if you have somebody in the back that wants to run lyrics, they might want the full Mac experience. And the nice thing with the Mac version of OnSong, which is, it is the same version that we uh, have for iPad. OnSong 2022, you can download it from the Mac App Store, you can download it from the app, just a regular App Store, and it is the same, um, effectively the same product. So this is my Mac. The nice thing with the Mac version is I can show you, I could do, I could run multiple screens off of the Mac. So I can have OnSong on my laptop screen or my iMac screen, my control screen. Um, I can connect an HDMI cord if I wanted to run my lyrics. And I can have another screen connected to show you something like stage monitor mode. And so you can run both of those from one device now. But anyway, here we have our OnSong demo song. Um, and up here I have my TV icon. So a couple things to keep in mind here. This is the preview area. Oh, and look, I can point at stuff. This is so nice. And this is the preview <laughs> area up here. Um, so that's gonna, that's really just to show you what things will, will look like with your changes you're making. Um, you can tap on that area to go through different slides, so to speak, or different sections of your song. Um, but that will not make the change live. So just keep that in mind. So some, some folks come in here and tap and wonder why it's not making that change live. Um, again, I can change my background color here, just like this. And some of the things, and I did that just to kind of show this off. Right here, this mode button, this video mode button shows that I'm showing lyrics with a background. If I just wanted to go to my background, I could tap the button next to it. If I wanted to show lyrics on a black background, I could tap here and that just gets rid of the background and shows the lyrics. So if I wanted to black out, I could do that. And the last one is stage monitor mode. The next line is where we set up our background. So for instance, if I wanted to bring that video back that I had, I can come in here, go into my Dropbox, search for that. Background media, and just import that. There we go, I can mm -hmm. tap on it. Now this I'm all doing without actually being connected to my, to my external display. We're gonna do that in just a second here. Um, and the other things I can change is my font size. Now on song is interesting in that um, if the font gets too big, it will only get so big, and then no matter how big you make it, it's not gonna wrap. That's a setting, um, just to try to make sure you're fitting everything into one screen. I can change my text color here, this white swatch. Um, I can change my stroke width, which is, uh, OnSong puts up like a, an outline around all the text. I can change the color of that stroke. Um, the shadow, again, trying to set that text off from the video. If there's a, a semi-translucent blurred shadow. We could change the, the color and translucency of that. And then I could also change my transition speed. So one thing I don't like is the two second transition speed. I like to have my lyrics come up a little bit faster within one second. So you can see that just made that change. Um, automatic advanced speed. This is handy if you, let's say, had a, uh, an on-song song that you might wanna just go through the sections automatically and repeat those sections. That's useful if you just wanna maybe show people where you're gonna be. You know, if you're playing at different, uh, different bars or clubs, um, you can just put those into an on-song song and have it automatically show those. Maybe, you know, 10 seconds per slide, you can set that up. Um, and lastly, we have this preview widget. The preview widget, if I turn that on, it's going to let me uh, see over here. Now my screen size looks a little strange. It's not picking that up properly, it looks like. I think it's probably not picking that up correctly because I need to connect an uh, actual display first so it knows what size to show. So to do that in, um, on the Mac, I'm going to come up here to my Apple menu, okay? And I'm going to hit System Preferences. Now System Preferences comes up. There's my ugly mug in the upper left corner. Um, but we're gonna wanna work with our displays. So that's over here on the left-hand side towards the bottom. And if I tap on displays, what you can see here is I have two displays. I got my MacBook Pro and I also have um, the VHD1 should be in there as well. So to connect, I'm gonna connect to my Apple TV. I'm gonna tap on add display down here in the left-hand corner, just like this. So I'm gonna tap on, or click on that, sorry, uh, and choose live stream left. And things are gonna kind of black out here for just a second. Um, 
because now you can see that my screen arrangement is a little bit different. I'm mirroring uh, my MacBook Pro screen. And then over here is my live stream left, my AirPlay monitor, okay? Um, and so if we were to bring that up on the screen, it's probably just gonna be black, I would think, right now. Okay, there's nothing going on there, but you can see that it actually has a menu bar up here if I were to click. So this is just like another screen that I have connected. It's an extended screen. So how are we gonna, how are we gonna do this? Well, um, what I'm gonna do is, oh, and by the way, if you come in here and things are not quite working the way you want, um, what you're gonna do is click on display settings down here, here in the lower left, okay? And all your screens show up on the left-hand side here, but I can then uh, click on which, dis which display I want to affect. So here's my V1 HD, that's our video switcher, and you can see it's mirroring the retina display. If I wanted to uh, change what my live stream is doing, I could change the parameters of that here. So if you connect your AirPlay and it's mirrored, um, you're probably gonna wanna come over and like turn mirror off and stop mirroring, and then you can use that for your lyrics. So anyway, we have our screen set up and we want, we can also change where this screen appears in relation to my other screen, but we're just gonna leave it there for now. And when we do move it, things kinda black out for a second, that's okay. All right, so we, we got our screen set up. Now, how do we turn on uh, lyrics projection uh, with On Song for Mac? Well, I'm gonna go up here to my window menu and up top I have my main window, which is on song, essentially in a window running on my Mac. And then I have lyrics projection and stage monitor. So you can see if I tap on, if I click on that, it should then put a checkbox in. So we're gonna do that, there we go. And so now I have a window that holds my lyrics, okay? And my background image and all that stuff. And so what I'm gonna do is take that and move it over here to my other display, okay? And then I'm gonna make it full screen. And we're done. So now, if I come back over here to my other screen, again, I got two screens. Oh, first of all, Unsung's gonna tell me, hey, by the way, you are running Lyrics Projection. Maybe you wanna learn about it. <laughs> uh, but that you're doing that right now, so it doesn't matter. Um, and then I can just click on a section. There we go, there we go. And we're showing our lyrics over here on the right-hand side. Just like that.